Kumusta? Ngayon ay may bago na naman tayong pag-aaralan at may bago na naman kayong matututunan dito sa Sir D Vlogs and Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about ecology. What is ecology? Ecology is the study of the relationships between living things, including humans, and their physical environment. It seeks to understand the vital connections between plants and animals and the world around them. The physical environments involves the biotic or the living components, which are the archaea, the bacteria, fungi, protists, plants, and animals, and also the abiotic or the non-living components in an ecosystem. These are the pH, humidity, salinity, temperature, minerals, soil, water, air, and the sunlight. We are also going to talk about the levels of organization in an ecological system. The organism, population, community, ecosystem, biomes, and the biosphere. Let's have first the organism. An organism is a single individual or being that has an organized structure can react to stimuli, reproduce, grow, adapt, and maintain homeostasis. Like a single deer, a single elephant, a single lion. When these organisms group together in the same species, they will create a population. A population is all the organisms of the same group or species who live in a particular geographical area and are capable of interbreeding. Just like group of deer, group of elephants, and group of lions will create a population of deer, population of elephant, and population of lions. When these different populations will be grouped together, they will form a community. A community is a group or association of populations of two or more different species occupying the same geographical area at the same time. Just like this one, a community of lions, zebras, elephant, rhinos, and other animals and this one a community of turtles different fishes corals and many other organisms under the sea again an organism is an individual being when these organisms being grouped together they will form a population and when these populations group together, they will create a community. The next level of organization would be the biome. Biome is a community of plants and animals that have common characteristics 
for the environment they exist in. They can be found over a range of continents. Biomes are distinct biological communities that have formed in response to a shared physical climate. Now let's talk about the different biomes. First, we have a tundra biome. Tundra is the coldest of all the biomes. Tundra comes from the Finnish word tunturi, meaning treeless plain. It is noted for its frost-molded landscapes, extremely low temperatures, little precipitation, poor nutrients, and short growing seasons. Next, we have the taiga biome. Taiga found in northern circumpolar forested regions characterized by a long winters and moderate to high annual precipitation. Now let's have the desert biome. The desert biome is an ecosystem that forms due to the low level of rainfall it receives each year. Deserts cover about 20% of the earth. There are four major types of desert in this biome. Hot and dry, semi-arid, coastal, and cold. Now let's go to savanna biome. The savanna biome is an area that has a very dry season and then a very wet season. They are situated between grassland and a forest. They can also overlap with the other biomes. There are savannas located in Africa, South America, India, and Australia. Next, let's have the grassland biome. Grassland biomes are large, rolling terrains of grasses, flowers, and herbs. Latitude, soil, and local climates for the most part determine what kinds of plants grow in a particular grassland. A grassland is a region where the average annual precipitation is great enough to support grasses and in some areas, a few trees. Next, we have the tropical rainforest biome. It is an ecosystem that covers about 7% of the Earth's surface. They are found all over the world, but the majority of the tropical rainforest lies in South America and Brazil. The weather in the tropical rainforest is rainy yet pleasant all year round, day or night. The temperate deciduous forest is a biome that is always changing. It has four distinct seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Winters are cold and summers are warm. Temperate deciduous forests get between 30 and 60 inches of precipitation a year. We also have marine biome. It is an environment characterized by the presence of salt water. The marine biome is found in all of Earth's ocean and is the largest biome in the world. The marine biome is a home to an amazing array of living organisms and the freshwater biomes. These are large communities of plants and animals centered around waters with less than 1% salt concentration. They are very important to survival on Earth. Types of freshwater biomes include ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, and even some wetlands. Again, these are the different biomes. Tundra, Taiga, Desert, 
savanna, grassland, tropical rainforest, temperate deciduous rainforest, marine and freshwater biomes. These biomes make the biosphere. The biosphere is a thin life-supporting stratum of Earth's surface, extending from a few kilometers into the atmosphere to the deep sea vents of the ocean. The biosphere is a global ecosystem composed of living organisms and the abiotic non-living factors from which they derive energy and nutrients.